Hello everyone, I'm James from the Herd Racing League. Today I'm going to talk to you about the profile page in Zwift Power. After the race results pages, this is probably the most important page on Zwift Power and one that you'll want to spend quite a bit of time looking at, especially if you obsess over your results like I do. If we start at the top left, we'll be able to see your Zwift photo as well as your level. There's also a refresh profile button, which you can use for things such as if you've just updated your weight, or if you're really lucky to update your category if you've had a great few races and don't want to wait for it to update automatically. If we move over to the middle section, at the top you'll see your race ranking with an info button next to it. This will show you your best five ranking points in a 90 day period. This shows you how well you've done in your races, comparatively against other people's rankings. So, if you beat a bunch of racers who have a lower ranking than you, your score will be lower for that race. Remember that lower is better. It also shows you how you are doing in your category, age group, weight group, team and country. Just below that, we have one of the most important sections on this page. Your minimum category with an info button next to it again. This shows you which category you should enter into races. Pay careful attention to this or you risk being disqualified from the event. This is set by your best three races in a 90 day period and is determined by 95% of your best power for, that, for a 20 minute period. So if you weigh 100 kilos and did 100 watts for 20 minutes, this would show as 0.95 watts per kilo and 95 watts. In terms of a mixed category, so ladies and men, in order to be category C, this needs to be above 2.5 watts per kilo and 150 watts. For category B, this is 3.2 watts per kilo and 200 watts. And for category A, this will be 4.0 watts per kilo and 250 watts. For the ladies only events, there's no wattage requirement. To get into category C, you need to be at 2.5 watts per kilo or above. For category B, this is 3.2 watts per kilo. And for category A, 3.7 watts per kilo. Below this, you can see your Z points total. You score Z points for your com times and various power metrics. You can use the Z points button at the top to see more details, and we'll cover this in another video at a later date. You can also see your country, the team you represent, your FTP and weight, and your age group. Below this, you can also see your best power numbers for 15 seconds, one minute, five minutes, and 20 minutes. It's shown in terms of wattage and also in terms of watts per kilo. The longer the lines for these show how well you're doing against your competition in your category. In the top right, you can see how you fared against riders you've come up against multiple times. The Nemesis button will show you who you've lost to the most times. Victims shows your victories. And you can also see how you're faring against your teammates that you've come up against the most. If we scroll down a bit, you'll see a list of all the events that you've taken part in. On the top left, you can filter between your classified results, as well as any results that you've been disqualified from. Oops. You can also filter by all rides, races, normal rides, workouts, and runs. We're interested in the races here. You can also add or remove any columns you'd like to add or remove, depending on how much data you'd like to see. There's also a button that shows you your 95% of your best 20 minute effort in the race, important for the category information I talked to you about earlier. In the race data, you can see the category that you entered into, the position that you came, the date and name of the race, then you can see your average watts per kilo and watts, as well as your NP or normalized power, which gives you an indication as to how much you surge during the race. If you held steady power throughout, then expect to see NP very similar to your average watts. But if you had a big push up a hill, or nailed a sprint, expect this to be higher. We're also able to see your best power over 20 minutes, five minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, and 15 seconds. Then we see information about your weight, your heart rate of both the average and the max, and the distance of the race. You can also see how you did in terms of your ranking. 
So this, this will show you the result and any gain that you made at all. You can see here I had a gain of 10.6 points. Also, if any of your numbers show up in red, that means it's your best result so far for that category. Well done. That basically covers our guide for the profile section of Zwift Power. We'll keep posting tutorial videos as well as streams of our races. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.